Let's bring in our DraftKings insider Steve Buchanan after going two for three on Monday. He's trying to continue the momentum on this Wednesday. Let's start with the Rockies Bukes team total set at five and a half runs. This line has changed. It's now at plus 115. Yeah, a little bit of a better value here going up against Lucas Giolito. Look at his numbers since the beginning of June. He has a 6.43 ERA, allowing 39 runs on 60 hits through 49 innings. Opposing hitters have tagged him for a 370 Woba and a 1.7 home run per nine inning. While I'm not expecting all of these runs to come off Giolito, he's allowed at least five runs in five of the, fifth, of the 17 starts that he's made. I think they go over five and a half runs against the White Sox here in court. Field tonight. Blue Jays and Cardinals wrap up their little two game series tonight in Toronto. You like the Blue Jays on the run line. How come? Yeah, at minus 120 in this one. The most important part, the Cardinals are missing two of their most important pieces in the lineup. They're going to be without Paul Goldschmidt and Nolan Arenado. Now they have to face the Blue Jays' best pitcher, Kevin Gossman, who continues to pitch at an elite level. Hasn't allowed more than two runs in four of his last five starts. Last time he faced the Cardinals, shut them up through six innings, and that was with Goldschmidt and Arenado in the lineup. Toronto's in a nice little, little winning streak right now. They've covered the run line in six of those seven games that they've won, giving them on the run line tonight against the Cardinals. All right, Mets and Yankees. Mets get the big win last night. Team total set at two and a half runs through the first five innings. They're facing Domingo Herman, and this line has changed a bit. Yeah, plus 120 for this one. We, Like you mentioned, Herman's taking them out. Only seen him through three innings against the Houston Astros so far. Not a three innings you want to remember. Five runs on six hits in that game. Herman has historically been a someone who struggles early in the game. Last year, the first time through the order, was tagged with a 5.06 ERA, including nine of the total 17 home runs he allowed last year. So I think the Mets can get out to an early start in this one, go over that two-and-a-half run team total through the first five innings getting that at a very favorable plus 120. All right let's recap the picks. He likes the Mets over the two and a half runs in the first five innings. He likes the Blue Jays on the run line and he likes the Rockies to hit their team total of over five and a half runs against the White Sox. Good stuff as always Bukes. We'll check in with you on Friday. All right man talk to you then. Thanks.